Hello and welcome to our uh, special uh, update for you on Tesla's battery day. Now that's uh, happening on Tuesday, September 22nd after the AGM. Um, Tesla has uh, obviously been on a bit of a tear lately uh, off the back of this. Um, we've seen the shares rally very, very hard uh, post uh, or into the stock split and then subsequently ahead of the battery day. Um, event. Now, just to bear in mind, since uh, 2017, Tesla has been mass manufacturing batteries for its cars and energy storage products in Nevada with uh, Panasonic. Um, this battery day event, uh, we're expecting it to announce details about a new type of battery cell, potentially. Um, these sort of presentations can cause uh, significant stock market, uh, well, stock volatility. Um, in, uh, in, in Tesla shares, so do keep your eye open for that one. Uh, what we have uh, potentially is an increase in capacity. So we could be looking at uh, Elon Musk unveiling battery cells with 400 watt hours per kilogram uh, and a high cycle, which would be um, way beyond the current 260 uh, watt uh, hours per kilogram, which the Model 3 runs on. So we're looking at that potentially. Um, and I think there's a sense that we are looking at a step forward in big te battery technology, um, higher efficiency, greater output, the ability um, to, um, to go for, uh, you know, more batteries at scale. Um, there's been speculation that Tesla may unveil a silicon nanowire anode, um, which can greatly increase battery density and cell life. So lots of um, speculation going into the event. Um, it will be worth paying attention, of course, to what eventually happens. Um, but I think the key thing to look for is the volatility. Does the event live up to hype or does it fall short? Um, if we look at uh, UBS, Patrick Hummel there saying he's expecting news of battery containing so-called dry electrodes. These would require, uh, these would be produced with a simplified manufacturing process that does not require uh, a drying, a process which is quite energy intensive before the electrodes are fitted in batteries. Um, the rewards for developing this technology are potentially enormous for an electric car maker as it removes many of the obstacles to breaking um, sort of to lowering the cost and making it a comparable cost uh, with fossil fuel vehicles. Um, the dry electrodes can deliver gains in energy density of as much as 50%. So lots to look out for. It's all lots of technical stuff around batteries. It's probably not that interesting um, if you're trading it, but the point is if you're trading it, it could be volatile. Um, obviously mainly bullish on Tesla at the moment. Um, you guys, uh, our clients are mainly bullish. And this rating still, they just don't know what, what to call this one. Shares have been rallying so hard. It's very, it's been very difficult for the street to catch up. Hedge funds decreasing activity, insiders selling, um, and the new sentiment uh, mainly uh, bullish. If we pull up our chart, uh, what we've got here is, um, Obviously, the stock split has affected that. We haven't got stock adjusted, stock split adjusted price for you, um, but it's 438 there, heading into uh, 442, heading into uh, heading into the battery day event on Tuesday. So that's it for now. Uh, we will have more for you uh, later on and throughout the course of the weeks. So do tune in and catch up with all the latest here on X-ray. Thanks for watching.